So that business did okay. It's a six-figure business. I got miserable running it, Paul, because it, it was very process-driven. I went from a community business to a no-community, out-and-out process business. Um, got miserable running it. Decided I need to build a business of my own design. And thought, well, I know loads about referrals. I know loads about partnerships. Why is no one else speaking on this? That was it. It was born out of a passion of wanting to do something and add some value. That was just before COVID. COVID came along, wiped out the benefit business. Um, it was too reliant on a handful of key partners and customers. Wiped that out. Um, but in hindsight, that's not necessarily a bad thing. No one wants to lose a six-figure business. But it did, did mean I went all in on what I'm doing now. And this is what I should be doing. I think it's what excites me. It's what I love. And I think it's what, what adds real value to people out there. So. It is lovely to hear that journey, um, which which does kind of mirror my own of, of fortunately, you were getting paid by the hour or by the, by the month to build the basis of the business that you now run and operate and learn all the all the hard lessons that needed to be learned as well as the the one the important one to, to set people up for success so with collaboration junkie it's it's fundamentally about the importance of connections for the for the people both um in and around that business as well as as their connections in turn 